Hi guys, this is Rose with Pretend Rose. I'm going to make it a quick one. I'm leaving for Mexico tonight. So I'll be in Casamel. I wanted to give a quick shout out to um, Left Lane Finds, Dina. She's been keeping after me. Got to get back on these uh, videos. Uh, there's this huge cat outside <laughs> running around. So I just wanted to tell you a quick story. From my trip from New York to Pennsylvania. Uh, and I did do a little video on it. So you could see kind of where I was. I was in the Little Grand Canyon in Pennsylvania. Well, a couple miles from it actually. But I got, somehow got rerouted. My GPS rerouted me. And put me on this dirt road. It, it's, you know, when you have those frustrating things. And you have no turnaround spots. No place to pull over, you know, ravines and, you know, different things that, you know, makes it impossible to do anything. Uh, and I did get some great shots of some deer out there. Oh, they were so pretty. But, uh, I gotta turn a little bit. This is really dark, or really bright, I mean. So, anyways, here, let me turn this way. So, anyways, you know, you start getting frustrated. And I did. I got frustrated. <laughs> Next, you know, that deer running out in front of me. I think I caught one of them on video. The other one I didn't catch on video, but he he was real close, too. And I was going slow, 15, 20 miles an hour. And, uh, you know, I'm getting frustrated. And then some lady walked right out in front of my truck to cross the road to get to her mailbox. Like, literally just didn't even stop and look, you know. And I didn't see her. She was standing behind a tree. You know, I was on that road for about six miles. A dirt road. It was crazy. And at that point, I was so frustrated. I was like, you son of a gun, Jesus. And then it hit me what I said. I said, oh, Jesus, I didn't mean that. But, you know, I was so frustrated, I was almost in tears that it's like, okay, what if this comes to a dead end and I can't turn my truck? I'll have to back my truck up six miles, you know, it'd be crazy. Or into somebody's driveway and certain areas of Pennsylvania, you don't want to turn around in people's driveways. They are going to come out with their guns, you know. So it's really important to keep that in mind. You're in Pennsylvania, and you're, you know, in the backwoods, just, you pull in somebody's driveway, they want to know who the heck you are and what the heck you're doing on their land. So, I did get a little frustrated, and a little upset, and then it started drizzling, and I was like, I can't, I can't do rain, I can't do rain right now, cannot do the rain right now, and that quick it stopped. Do you know where that road took me? Back out on the Route 15. And I think it shaved about 40 minutes off my trip. I mean, it really did. I was really shocked for as slow as I was going 15, 20 miles an hour, you know. It shaved that much time off my... I, I probably would never be able to find it again in my life. But my GPS just kept saying rerouting, rerouting. When you're going over the mountains... Everything starts to buffer. You know, there's places up in there that you just, it, it will not work. Your GPS will not work. And it's a lot of back roads, you know, back country roads, up over mountains. Uh, so it was kind of one of those things. But you don't know how thankful I was that I made it down here in quicker time than what I should have. And if I would have went the normal route, I probably would have hit traffic. And... Traffic on 15, there's, you know, it's slow going. It's very hard to, to get anywhere in a decent amount of time. I do like to travel at night, but I left probably early evening, you know, before it started getting dark. So I did get a little bit of video up in there. But I wanted to tell that quick story. I am going to Casamel. I'm going to do a lot of YouTubing down there. I want to show you where I'm going to be at. I'm going to put some of it on PTR Adventures and some of it on here. So you can see what I'm doing and where I'm going and 
how much fun we're going to have. I'm going out with the dive team. I am not diving. I'm not certified to dive. Uh, I get anxiety. You know when you put those face masks on? And then you got to go down into the water and they suction cut themselves to your face. I can't do that. Same time. I'm not afraid of nothing. I'll go swim with the sharks. Not a problem. But I can't handle that suction cup feeling on my face. But uh, I will probably be up on the boat. Uh, watching the tanks and, you know, keeping an eye on things. Watching out for pirates. You never know what you're going to see down there. Or you never know what's going to happen. But I'm going to do a lot of filming. And I'm excited. I can't wait to get this. And get out there and do this. It'll be so much fun. I'm hoping we get to do a lot of things. Uh, there's a lot of places you got to. You got to really stay to the tourist areas. Because there's a lot of people down there. That will you know. Beat you up and take your money, you know, rob you for whatever, rob you for the shoes on your feet, <laughs> who knows. You have to be really careful. And uh, they see Americans coming, and this is another good point to make. They see Americans coming and they think rich. Well, we are a rich country. You know, a lot of these other countries, they don't have air conditioner, they have... 100 degree weather, 110 degree weather, no air conditioning whatsoever in their houses. Uh, they don't have TVs. If one person in the entire city has TV, everybody else goes over there to watch the news to find out what's happening in the world. You know, it, it's very difficult in some of these countries. And they live in, a, you know, adobe houses or whatever, you know, or shacks. So, we are a very rich country. So, if you're ever thinking you're poor, don't think like that. Think that you're temporarily without. And that's just the phase. You're, you're going to come right back out of it. And money's going to be pouring in again. Keep these thoughts in your mind. Because it's important when you start thinking, oh my goodness, I'm poor, I'm poor, I'm poor. The universe wants to bring you poor stuff. <laughs> you know, they, they, they want to, it wants to keep you poor then because that's what's on your mind. You, you have to change your thoughts. You have to change your speech. Yeah, I'm temporary broke. I'm not going down there with much. But that's okay. I'm still going to enjoy myself. I'm still going to go shopping. It's kind of like the Mexican Costco. I'm going to go down there and have fun and... You know, do whatever. But I'm going to get it all out on video for you. So I'm hoping things are, go really well for us. And we have a really good time. I'm going down with my three sisters. Uh, my sister Kathy will be diving. Hopefully I can get that all on videotape. And my sister Nancy and Jackie. Who knows what they're going to do. So when I'm out on the boat with Kathy. They might be off and running. So we'll see. We'll see. And then we'll all get together and do nightly things to do together. But it'll be fun. I can't wait. I'm really, really excited. I want to thank you to my sister Kathy, who has been really, really great at uh, keeping us all together, doing different things with us. She's the one who paid for the trip, which was really sweet of her. I had to rush around to get my passport. Well, now I got a passport. I don't have to worry about it for another 10 years. But I'm going to let you go. I love you all. Bye, YouTube.